and welcome to another watercolor video demo. And in this one here, I thought I'd cater a little more to the beginners out there and kind of go over a few things. So first of all, what we do is, and this is the most basic thing, you have a sheet of paper here, use cold press, use some decent paper, you get a little bit better results. It doesn't have to be the best. And you'll see some people, they tape it to their board. You can use a roll of tape. I'm not a big fan of tape because it tears the paper. Um, and my, the paper I use fits the frame. So I use these clips. And this is how I learned from some of the other people that I watched on YouTube. The other thing that I use here is I use, this is called a hake brush made of goat hair. This is the Ron Ranson Pro Art Hake Brush. I actually have some left. You can go to my eBay shop and I have some left on there. And then the other brush we will use is like a rigger type brush, fine line type brush. And then sometimes we may use a flat brush. Try to limit the brushes. It keeps you from fussing and going over details uh, too carefully because we want to keep it fun, fresh, and uh, spontaneous. So this is going to be more of a beginner video. Here's our paint palette. I use an open palette. You can use it whatever you want, but the big brush you need to be able to get around. So you use raw sienna, burnt umber, light red, uh, ultramarine blue, a yellow, which can be a cad yellow or a lemon yellow, and then a Payne's gray, which is like a bluish gray, dark, almost like a black, and then a lizard crimson. I let them harden on the palette because it's a waste of paint otherwise, and it helps you to control as you brush off the color. If you want to, you can take a spray bottle. You can spray your palette first and kind of activate things. Don't have to do this, but it's one way you can go about it. So three things we have. We have our sky and what we call sort of our horizon and then our foreground. Every painting is broken down into three sections such as that. So you've got your middle ground, sky, and foreground. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to pop in the sky. Now what I like to do is I like to coat my paper three times with water to make sure that it's wet enough. You don't have to, you can do twice. Some people don't wet their paper at all. They go in with a very wet brush and they do it that way. Um, and they, they just let the paper work, work the, uh, the water out. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is we're just going to use some of the ultramarine blue and we are going to just do a basic sky. Just like so. You can do a basic sky like that. And you can let it kind of work its way down the page. And then while you're doing that, now if you want to start doing some clouds, you take a little Payne's Gray and a little Lizard and Crimson. And you make a sort of a grayish red color. And you can drop in some clouds that way. Just very random. A little heavier there. Clouds get smaller toward the bottom. And there you have your most basic sky and ready to go foreground that there is. And that makes it very, very simple for beginners. You don't have to work too hard at it. I'm gonna give it a quick dry. We use a hair dryer, and a hair dryer can dry the paper a little quicker so we can move on in the demo more quickly. If you don't have a hair dryer, you can go make a cup of coffee, do something temporary while it dries. Don't have to use the hair dryer. You'll see a lot of people online do that. Next thing that we're going to do is we're going to mix up a little of the sky color, a little blue, a little bit of the alizarin crimson, a touch of Payne's gray. And what we're going to do is we're going to put in just a bit of a mountain range. Just by running the stroke sideways, just like I'm doing on an angle, you can drop in these little peaks. Very simple. The more paint on your brush, the heavier it's going to be. 
Don't be afraid to make mistakes early on. A lot of things are fixable. A lot of things are learnable. You want to put these in as simple, though, as simple possible, few strokes as possible. So now you have a simple mountain range. Now you can decide here, do you want to put some water on the bottom? You can do water below. Um, you can do some land mass. Um, if you want to put a little bit of land there, let's take a little bit of burnt umber mixed with a little Payne's Gray. And we'll put in some forward mountains. Now you can leave yours. You don't have to go this far with it and skip this step, but I just going to put in some forward facing mountains to push this one more in the background. And we're going to leave that alone. We're going to let that dry. We're going to take and we're just going to use that same brown and we're going to make some foreground land here. You can make it any shape that you like. I'm going to stretch my paper. We unclip and reclip to get a flatter sheet going. Again, we're going to take just a little more of that brown color. And so now we have a little lake and we have some land mass here. Very simple. I'm going to take the hair dryer again and just give it a quick blast. Now again, you can leave it like this and you can say, I'm done. This is a finished watercolor. This would be your most basic watercolor that you could do. Or you say, you know, I'd really like to add a tree. You go to more a little bit of an advanced step and you say, I'd like to put a little bit of a tree up there. So let's go ahead and do that. And we're going to make the end of the brush as razor thin as possible. Now, some people go like this with their trees. They'll actually go sideways all the way up. I just like to run it straight up the page. You can do it either way, sideways or straight. Once you do that, you have your tree trunk. And you could take, if you're really proficient with the edge, you can actually take and you can make branches coming off of there. Or you can take that rigger brush that I showed you earlier and you can make simple little brushes you just brush strokes for limbs that you can drag off and there you have just a basic tree what I like to do is, once I've done that, I add a little bit more grass or whatever down on the bottom here. And just to show you the flexibility of using the rigger, you can take and put in another basic tree over here. Again, you can stop with that tree if you want to. What I really want is just showing the basics, the, the actual just rudimentary basics of doing a scene like this. <clears throat> now, you can leave it like that even if you want to. Or at this point now, you can start doing some detail work. There's so many different things that you can do from this point forward. You can take your brush and you can start making sort of shading on there for lighting, shadows. You can take your card and you can do a little scraping and create some, some effects that way and create some effects with some grass. There's very, very several, several ways that you can approach that. Now what you could do is you could take, let's get some light red on the brush. And we're just gonna, just a little more water on there. <clears throat> and we're just going to dab in some, some light leaves. And we're just scruffing up the end of the brush and dabbing 
those loose ends onto the paper and it create the effect of leaves and then you can go into your Payne's gray and you can just put a few dabs where you think that the darker areas of leaves from shadows and whatnot would be. And we'll take that same brush, we'll just go over here and create just some loose, you can leave that without leaves on there, it's perfectly fine, but I just wanna show this more sort of advanced moves after you followed along in the regular part. And you can even put a little down here for color, which you just used up there. Maybe some of the leaves fell off or whatever. Now I'm going to take some darker color back with the Hick brush again. I'm going to take some brown, darken it up a little bit. And now for some details I'm going to add. I'm just going to put in just a little bit where this shore would be. This will just sort of define the edge of this shore here. You can do the same thing out here with this mountain area or you can just leave it. And that's really as much as you have to do for this. What you can do is if you want to, say you want, let's, let's do a quick dry. If you want a little more color in your water, you can take your hake brush and you can you can wet down this water area and put some more water effects in. I'm going to put a little bit of water that way. You take your hake brush and you can very quickly sweep it across. Probably would have been better to do this before, but I didn't feel that the water had enough color in it. So and that's nice. It's got some of the sky colors in there. It shows a little bit of water effect. It's almost called dry brushing. You're just dragging it across quick sweeps. Let me give it a quick dry. Quick little finishing touches for, for added special effects you can do is you can take that small rigger brush and paint a little triangle with just water in here. Take a piece of a paper towel and press it against the surface and you've just created a small sailboat sailing back in this mountain area in the distance. Just press it and you've created just a little boat sailing back there. Put a little bit more grass up with that. And if you want to, you could take the end of your brush while there's a little bit of dirt on there, just a little dirtier, darker color and you can Put in a few birds and you got some birds and that's it a very simple simple approach to watercolor um, and doing a landscape scene for beginners let's zoom in as close as that I can get here and we'll just you can see your sailboat and you can see your little ripples in the water and that's pretty much it I hope you enjoyed this video again this was more geared toward beginners people just starting out trying to keep it as easy and as simple as possible. If you wanna see a little bit more advanced, you can watch some of my other videos and I hope that you subscribe and comment. Thank you everybody, have a great day.